Hello, this is Eric Buffington. Welcome all you learning birds out there. We're going to learn today about literary device called allusion or when you allude to something. So what is allusion? Allusion is a reference to a historical figure of significance usually um, and it's often used to state a complex idea in a little bit more of a simple way. I'll show you some examples of that, but just keep that in mind as we talk about it. A reference to a historical figure or a historical event, and it's used to make a complicated statement in a simple way. So here's an example. <clears throat> when you see this picture, does it make you think of something? An arrow in someone's heel. An Achilles heel. If you've ever heard of an Achilles heel. Achilles was a mythical figure he was um, completely invincible except for his heel. When we refer to a person's Achilles heel, we are talking about their weakness. Someone may seem like they're invulnerable in all other ways, and we say, well, we have to find his Achilles heel. We need to find that one spot that he is vulnerable. All right, again, kind of a complicated idea combined into two words, Achilles heel has all of that meaning based in it. So you can make an allusion to all of that meaning just by using those, you know, those two words. Here's an example. I've been doing well on my diet, but chocolate is my Achilles heel. So again, it could say I've, I've been exercising, I've been watching what I eat, but chocolate's just my one weakness. All right, so that's just a, a simple example of, of using that phrase Achilles heel. Another um commonly used phrase is Solomon's wisdom. Solomon was a king in the Old Testament who was blessed with great wisdom. He is said to be the wisest man to have ever lived. So when we make a phrase or say something like, this is Solomon's wisdom or the wisdom of Solomon, we're referring to someone who has a really good idea or is really wise or might have done something really intelligent. Inside that phrase is a reference to someone who ruled an entire country in wisdom, somebody who was, you know, just the epitome of intelligence. Um, in the Bible, it said that that gift was a gift from God. So again, for religious people, that would have even more significance when you say, wow, you have the wisdom of Solomon, or, or what you did was using the wisdom of Solomon. And so it has a lot of depth to what you're saying, inside of just a few words. Again, making an allusion to that um, that historical figure. Now, this isn't by the strict definition um, an allusion that people would make, but this is just a common, sort of, not very common, but a modern example and something that I've seen oftentimes happening. I was playing Frisbee with my daughter, Emma. When she was younger, she kept throwing it way off target. So it seemed like she could never throw a Frisbee straight. It would always go, you know, to the right, to the left, and make me run halfway across a field or run into the woods to try and get that Frisbee back. One time when we were playing recently, I threw the Frisbee and it went way off target from her. And she called out to me and said, you just made an Emma throw. So she was alluding to something that had happened in the past, making a reference to that in something that had meaning for us and reminded us of something that had happened in the past. So again, just kind of a, a modern example of it that I know happens oftentimes, certainly in sports and, and, and examples like this. But that's just an example of a way that kind of brings things to, to sort of a more modern light. So some other common examples, you could say someone's a common day Newton or modern day Newton, meaning that he's really smart. Or you might call someone an Einstein. That guy was just an Einstein, meaning that they're just intelligent. Hey there, Romeo means a boy's maybe charismatic or romantic, like the um, literature, the figure in literature by in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. Um, there's also a phrase now in called nuking the fridge. And it's meaning that something is so unrealistic or, or stupid that um, it, it's referring to it being similar to the first scene in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the, the Crystal Skull where he hops into a refrigerator and uses that to survive a nuclear blast. It's just something that's so unrealistic and far-fetched and kind of silly so that you could say that it's nuking the fridge. And that's kind of a, 
again a common phrase in in movies and sometimes also for making kind of ridiculous things so we use allusions all the time Allusion, allusion is a reference to a historical figure of significance and it's often used to state complex ideas in simple ways. I hope that that short lesson on allusions was helpful for you. Didn't cover everything about allusions, but it certainly covered the basics so that hopefully you have a better idea of what an allusion is and some examples of how to use it or how it's used in literature. Hope that was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.